I mentioned in my opening comments um, my interest in uh, the potential that we have for microgrids and recognizing that, um, as you've point out, pointed out, Ms. Martin, that there are great differences region to region, and that's why there can't be kind of a one-size-fits-all application when it comes to, to uh, our energy sources and, 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 and really our, uh, how our, our grid functions here. Dr. Littlewood, what, what kind of coordination uh, goes on uh, with our, our national labs and, and what the states are doing, um, or even more locally, for instance, in a very small uh, village in the southwestern part of, of Alaska, uh, not connected by road, a, a village by the name of Kongilingok. Uh, their own little microgrid between three wind turbines, a battery storage unit, and, and small uh, heating units within homes uh, is, is perfect for them, and they've really pioneered uh, much of what they have provided for their community of, of several hundred. How much coordination goes on between the labs and then what we're seeing within the states, whether through our universities or just from those that, by necessity, are pulling together these, these very small microgrids? So one of the things that the labs are doing is trying to develop test beds that can be used for communities to do virtual experiments uh, within, within, the, within the lab system to be able to design systems that could be exported uh, to be used in small communities. So I'll mention in that actually uh, uh, a program at, the, at NREL, National Re Renewable Energy Lab, um, which is ESIF, which actually provides a kind of basic test bed. There's similar work being going on at PNNL um, and at Argon and at many of the labs. So, of course, what we can't do always is to connect with individual communities one by one, but we do work quite closely with a view to get a view both from regulators or from within individual states, with those states running those kind of experiments. I think the labs would say that they would, in fact, benefit from the attention coming from states who have particular problems and particular issues uh, that they want to solve. And you know, we, for example, and I think my colleagues, would be interested to come and uh, study what's actually going on in, uh, on the ground. And we do in many places. I can't vouch for the fact that we've been to a particular uh, village in Alaska, although I'm sure that there are some pretty creative ideas which are on the ground there already. Well, it would be, I think it would be helpful for all of us to, to have a better understanding in terms of, of, of what is happening in some pretty unique situations. And again, um, because of necessity in, in, in so many of these areas, and then integrating that with, with our brilliant minds that we have in our laboratories.